day five. It's the last day and we're going to start out with St. Vincent de Paul and Victoria is here joining me. So excited to see what this store has. And then we went to America's Thrift Store. Super excited to see what this one had in store for us. And as we go inside, I do take a quick pan of the store as usual. There's Victoria with her queen wave. And this is a huge, huge store. And I'm just going to take a quick look in my cart. There is some goodies in here for you guys. You'll see more later, but I just wanted to give you the sneak peek of the St. John piece I bought. Uh, two piece for $8.69. And then I found a Lulu's formal dress. Love selling these. And this one was $10, a little more expensive, but it was brand new with tags. Then me and Tanya went to a little hole in the wall. That is her secret place. And then we stopped by Goodwill. This is probably the biggest Goodwill that I've ever been in. All right, here's my cart before I go through it. I have quite a bit of stuff, so probably three fourths of this will go back. Right here is a look at my cart after. I did uh, want to put back about five things. So I did take a little more than half. So that's great. And I can't wait to get home and start listing. Again, a quick pan of the store. So this store was a little sad because it looks big on the outside, but then half of this store, hey Tanya, is empty. And look at all of these empty racks. What a waste of space. This is the last haul. This is from a Friday uh, from the stores that you saw previously in the video. So let's just get started. The first place was St. Vincent de Paul. I was a little saddened by St. Vincent de Paul uh, because they didn't have too much stuff, even though Today was half off day. And funny enough, it was half off clothing day, uh, which did not include shoes, but shoes were buy one, get one free. And then there was other stipulations uh, where it was only women's shoes. Kind of put in a weird, awkward position when I was went up there, uh, cause I just found one pair of shoes that I wanted and I wanted like half price. So I wanted to get another pair of shoes. And I picked out these Cat and Jack shoes. Uh, they're practically brand new and they're gonna be my daughter's size. So I thought I would include those, but I did not read that it was women's only. So starting off <laughs> poorly, but she did say children's shoes, even though this says $6.99 were $1.99. And then, so I got my pair of shoes, which were these fit flops. Uh, they look like they've hardly ever been worn. I do really well with fit flops. Uh, I've only sold them a couple of times, so we'll see about this one. Uh, these were $6.99 originally. And then the lady was like, okay, well, if you want your free pair of shoes, I would probably go get them. And I was like, well, I mean, they're free, so I got to find something. So I took another quick peek. I, like, literally <laughs> took me five minutes. And I don't know that these are going to sell. They're Antonio Milani. If not, I'll take them to the consignment store. I'm pretty sure they can sell them there. Oh my gosh, surprise, surprise. I think these are used. Why would somebody keep that in here? Airfit? Yeah, these are definitely used, <laughs> but uh, no wonder they ended up in the thrift store. They were probably uncomfortable. They're really cute. I don't know. I don't know if they're my size. They're a size six, <laughs> even better, but they were free. Uh, and I did pay $9.99 because that's what these were marked at, which I wasn't thinking again, but you, you, can, you live and you learn. I also got a pair of uh, fake Dior earrings. Um, they're just cute. They were for me. I wore them that day. And, you know, I don't care. I'll wear fake things. All in all, I paid $8.44. I did round up $9 because all of that goes towards uh, charity work in the area. It's for a good cause. Then I definitely will. Our next stop before we went to lunch, and I was so hungry this day, was America's thrift store. And Alicia did not join us for uh, this store. So I went ahead and checked out the shoes first. That's usually where she went. So I didn't get too many shoes on this trip, but here I did. If you know, you know, these are Vionics. They're just a silver pair of sandals. They sell super fast. I don't know that they're gonna sell for much, but anything that sells super fast and is money in my pocket, I will definitely grab. So, um, I found a second pair. <laughs> These are uh, just to prove that there was a second pair. Uh, yeah. So if I'm going to list one, I'll list another. And it's funny because there were different colors. So one, I got a discount on 
and the other one I didn't, but I don't care. They were both $4.99, which is a pretty good price for shoes. And then we have some Tevas. You can see the little Teva there. These look like they've hardly ever been worn. Uh, they were $6.99. I've sold Tevas before that were like practically brand new for around 50, I believe maybe 60. These are definitely just a little bit worn, but those sold really fast. So I'm hoping these sell fast too. And the last pair of shoes I did ask Victoria about, they are Pour La Victor, uh, and they just look super fancy. So Victoria said she thought she sold some of these or they're from, is that a big yellow stain? That's funny. I do not see that on, on the shoe. Is it? Okay, maybe it's... What? Okay, there looks like there's a big yellow stain. Do you see that? Right there, and I'm touching it. Why do I not see it? Oh my gosh, that's awful. I am very disappointed. What do I do with that? How do I clean that? Ugh. All right, we're scrapping these. Seven bucks. All right. I looked them up, a picture right there of my comps that I found, <sighs> kind of angry, but not really, it's my fault, whatever. And then in the video, I also showed you that I got this Lulu's dress. It was $10.69, which is kind of expensive, but it's one of their formal dresses and it's brand new as hags. Yeah, their formal dresses do a lot better than their regular like skater dresses. Even though this is one shoulder, I still think it will sell. I even asked Victoria and she said it's a no-brainer. So I, I would have felt stupid if I would have just passed on it. The final thing that I ended up getting at America's Thrift Store was this St. John Collection blazer. Look at how pretty this is. And I wasn't even going to look in the blazer section, but I'm so glad I did. This one definitely popped out to me. Uh, so I had to look at it. Uh, it's got the gold detail, gold zipper, gold little buckles. Okay, check this out, check this out. $8.99, totally, totally a reasonable price. But it came with the skirt. So it's very rare to find in a thrift store a set that matches. And you know what? They didn't charge me because it came as a set. $8.99 for the set. That is unheard of. So I was super excited for this one. Okay, and I did buy a uh, little toy for my daughter, so happy days. So all in all, I spent $38.46 at uh, this store, America's Thrift Store, and then we went to go eat, so I was happy. Okay, after lunch, which we ate at some Chinese restaurant, a delish, love buffets, and me and Tanya, Double T's Treasures, went to a fun thrift store that she had never been to before and is kind of like one of the hole in the walls, but those are like the best places ever. And it was pretty good. One of the things that I did get, um, because Tanya wasn't gonna get it, but she really wanted to. Um, no, they're not in there. <laughs> so sadly, I don't do hard goods at all. But the only reason she didn't get this is it says case only there. And she did, she checked. It's only the case. But these are like $300, $400 headphones. So the case could go for like a good amount of money. But she tried to lick it and uh, see if uh, the three would come off. But I have other plans for this that I'm going to try and we'll see if it works. If not, I'll just scratch it out. I mean, nobody's gonna say anything. Uh, I paid $3 for this dress. Okay, it's a formal dress. And it's, ooh, it has a smell to it. It is, I believe it's midi or maybe to the floor. It is by Tadashi Shoji. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but everybody knows Tadashi. Or if you don't, now you do, and you should definitely pick it up. Uh, probably get around 45, 50 for this. I am very, very picky with BCBG Max Azria. This is the only brand I get. I don't get the generation or the Paris, but I did look this one up. Uh, I did a Google Lens search. They did not have a name on the tag, which is usually what I look for and will help point you to the dress. But I believe comps were around $30, $40. And at $3 for a dress, I definitely just had to get this one. Oh, and it was funny. <laughs> I was like, where's the athletic wear? And I believe Tanya was like kind of the same. 
And then at the very front of the building, there was these little Tupperwares that were, that you could pull out. And Tanya's like, oh, there's the athletic wear. And I was like, yeah, pull me out some Lululemon. What did she do? She pulled me out a Lululemon. <laughs> it is just a tank top, but uh, with tank tops, I love them for myself. So I might keep this. If it is smaller, which it might be uh, size, I will just sell it. I'm not gonna get much because Lululemon tank tops don't go for that much, but I definitely need to wash this one for sure. And I believe she charged me $3.50 for it, which actually is a little bit more than I thought she would charge me considering dresses were three but maybe she saw the Lululemon logo and she knew. And then this is a brand that I learned from buying at Nordstrom. It is J-O-A. This is just so cute. Definitely needs to be steamed. I do have to sweater shave a little bit, but it is a fun jumpsuit. So super excited. Jumpsuits are really in. Wide leg. It's got everything going for it. Three bucks for this. And I would never ever even find this at a thrift store for $3. Not even on like 75% off day. So that one didn't come with a receipt and I did have to pay cash. And the total was $19. I did get another little something for my daughter there. Oh, but still that was exciting for all of that for $19. And then last but not least uh, is a Goodwill in Ocean Springs. This was the Goodwill where half of the store had clothing in it. And then the other half was divided by a wall. And then there was just like blank spaces and lots of empty racks. So why they even have that much space, I don't know. So blue tags were half off. So I got a lot of blue tags. And if you guys watched my videos, you know I am starting to pick up a lot of Armani Exchange. And I thought since this was half off and it was all silk, that this would definitely be something good to test out. And for this brand, I don't normally pick it up, but it was half off. And this is Elaine Bryant. So their, their jumpsuits, their dresses were $7.49. So half off of that is less than four bucks. So I definitely had to grab this one. It is a short sleeves and it is a wide leg jumpsuit. I did look it up just to make sure that it would be worth it. Cause I was trying to find things that were going to make me at least 30, $35. So I believe comps were around 40. And so that works for me. The next thing I didn't even look up because it would be too hard to even Google lens this. I'm just on a set it straight that I said in, in a previous video that I do not like Ralph Lauren. I have a lot of Ralph Lauren from my high class vintage uh, eBay store. I don't like Ralph Lauren tops, regular tops, button downs, polos, anything like that. Ralph Lauren dresses are totally different. So I pick up Ralph Lauren dresses and I do well with Ralph Lauren dresses. So I picked up another Ralph Lauren. Um, this is a sleeveless dress. I gotta say, this is like the heaviest thing. So even if I found this at the bins, I would be hesitant to pick it up because it, it would weigh so much. But the best part about this, $7.49, blue tag, so this was half off and I'm really surprised that they did not mark it up. So there is some like lace detail on the bottom of the skirt. So I love that. And I love that it's just heavy because that means that they spent money to make this dress. And also I am really picky with Calvin Klein, uh, especially this material. I like the scuba dresses the best but blue tag. And then I did look up comps and they were actually going for at least $30. I'm not a fan of the print, but I'll take it if it's going to make me money. Okay, I did pick up another Lane Bryant and I, again, I picked it up because it was worth money. Uh, it is maybe a maxi length, maybe a midi, maybe in between. It's a navy blue, it's sleeveless. So it's great for this time of year. And again, that blue little uh, tag is sticking out and it was regular price $7.49. Anything less than $4 that I know I'm gonna make money on is a definite yes. Also, this was my last store and I kind of wanted to go out with a bang. So uh, another blue tag. I'm excited about this one. It is Talbots and I am picky about Talbots. I do buy a lot of their blazers if they're tweed, 
but this one is 100% linen so it could sell even right now uh, when it's getting a little hotter out. Uh, linen typically does well for me in the spring so I'm excited to hopefully get this one listed soon. So the girls, well, uh, Tanya and Victoria were sending each other pictures of uh, pineapple things that they found in the store. Uh, I guess upside down pineapples. If you know, you know. And they're just trying to be goofy. I did not find any, sadly enough. And I should have sent this, but it's not upside down. And it's for my daughter, so we're not even going to associate it with that. But I thought it was fun. It was a little high-low dress. It has a little pineapple on it. It's sleeveless. And it has a hood. How cute is that? Uh, I only buy things <laughs> for my daughter if it's half off. How horrible is that? Am I a bad mom? I know she'll love it though and I'm glad I kept it out of the landfill. Okay another brand that I'm like not buying anymore but I happened to buy it because the comps looked good. Matilda Jane. I did spend uh, $7.49 for this dress which I don't know if it was a mistake or not but comps were around $30 again and you know I need to make the money to make up for going on this trip and a little bit more. So this dress again is like a midi length. I won't buy her short dresses. I won't buy her tops. I'll only buy dresses that I know will do well. I like a, the lilac purple color and the floral print. And so I guess this is just in right now and uh, people are looking for it and people are selling it. And that's all that matters to me is if it sells. This one might have been a mistake. I think it only brings in about $25. We were on Crown and Ivy and sudden I just had it in my mind. So I saw this and I was like, oh, I need to buy it. Didn't really need to buy this. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's more like festival. I hate this. I hate it. Like I probably not even gonna list it. It is a jumpsuit though. And people love jumpsuits. So yeah, I'll probably list it. Uh, so I think I mistake this for a blue tag. It's actually purple. So I had to pay full price for this one. So, I mean, I guess if it sells for more than 10, I'm making money, but that wasn't exactly my favorite. And when I list things, I like to list things that I like, but again, we'll, we'll just, we'll run with it. And the last and final thing is a wool blazer by Escada. And I've sold this Escada, uh, Mar Margetha Lay. I've sold two maybe three of her blazers for over a hundred dollars so super excited for this and i'm surprised it was still there maybe because it's biloxi mississippi and it's always hot there they're not gonna want a wool blazer so i'm i was surprised it was half off but really i'm not surprised so i'm thinking i'll probably get maybe around 75 for this one that was it. If you guys missed anything, go back and watch my previous videos. I show you everything that we've done and then I show you hauls at the end. I do want to end this video with some numbers. I am an analytical person. That is kind of what I do in my full-time job is a lot of analytics. Let's start with what I ended up spending at all of these thrift stores and then how many items I ended up getting to list. And let's keep in mind that there is those three items that I did end up paying $25, $30 for. So my cost of goods might be a little bit skewed because of those. So if you divide those two numbers, I come up with a cost of goods for each piece of this right here. And then I want to give you guys some other numbers. I want to give you my cost to get down there. The cost for entertainment, that's drinks, that's food. I honestly did not pay for a hotel. My friend Tanya was able to make some calls and get me a room for free for the whole week. Thank you, thank you so much, Tanya. And I did end up winning a little bit at the casino. So after all is said and done there, this is what I ended up with at the casino. So if you take all those expenses plus the casino winnings, you have this total right here. And that is what I need to make from all of what I have shown you from five different hauls. Again, you can watch the other videos that I posted previously. So that's the total that I need to make in order to make this trip free, which I'm pretty sure can be done. And I'm hoping to do that within a couple of months. And I'm hoping to get all of this listed within one week because I do not like to have a death pile. I know Alicia is the same. And then I could get back to shopping my regular stores here in St. Louis. 
if you watched all five videos thank you so much i appreciate you guys watching make sure you go check out the other girls channels they will each have a video up i believe victoria is going to try to have five videos as well and you can see the shenanigans from a different point of view thank you so much for joining me and have a great day bye so my big winnings Look at that five cents, y'all. Oh, let's zoom in on that. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a happy face right there. <laughs>